Welcome to the Advisory Science Channel. Why do puddles disappear? Well, they don't really disappear, but we'll find out more in today's lesson. It's all about evaporation. When water is heated to 100 degrees Celsius, it turns into a gas called steam. This change from liquid water to steam is called boiling. Boiling is a type of evaporation. Evaporation can also happen when water slowly turns into water vapour at quite low temperatures. Let's take a look at some everyday examples of evaporation. Firstly, when we hang clothes on a washing line, the water evaporates from the wet fabric as it dries in the sun. The liquid water turns into water vapour gas. Another example of evaporation is when our bodies sweat through pores in the skin when we get hot. As the sweat evaporates off our skin surface, it cools our bodies down. Finally, plants lose water through pores in their leaves as water vapour. Salt is made when seawater evaporates and leaves the salt behind as a solid. This is really important for people who live near the sea and need salt for their food. A famous example of this is when Gandhi led a peaceful protest to collect salt from the sea. Even though it was against the law and many people were arrested, it helped change an unfair rule. This event showed how important it is for people to be able to make salt from evaporating seawater. That's a wrap for today. Always remember, evaporation is a key process that impacts our everyday lives, from drying our clothes to making salt. So the next time you see a puddle disappear or feel sweat evaporating from your skin, you'll know exactly what's happening. Keep exploring and stay curious. Thanks for watching. For more science resources, visit our website advisoryscience.com and check out the blog for even more educational content. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest episodes.